Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Today we are going to study Unit 1, Lesson C, A Word of Advice. Let's start with the new vocab. Read and try to guess the meaning of the words in bold. What are these words? These words are suffer from, control, reduce, a fear of, deal with, and advice. What do we mean of suffer from? Suffer from means have a problem with something. What do we mean of control? Control means rule or dominate. What do we mean of reduce? Reduce means decrease. What is the meaning of a fear of? A fear of means afraid of. What do we mean of deal with? Deal with means transact. What do we mean of advice? Advice means recommend. Our grammar lesson today talks about should and had better. We use should and had better to give an advice. Had better is stronger than should. We are going to know when we use should and shouldn't. We use should and shouldn't plus be's infinitive too. One, ask for and give advice. For example, should I stay or should I go? Two, express an opinion. For example, he should tell his father about it. Three, make a suggestion. For example, shouldn't we discuss it with the boss first? Number four, to express mild obligation. For example, you should go to work on time. Note, should and shouldn't plus B is, four, B is infinitive refers to the present or the future. When do we use had better? We use had, had better plus beer infinitive to give strong advice. It often expresses threat or warning and it's stronger than should. It refers to the present or future, not the past. Its negative form is had better not. In spoken English, the, for, the short form is commonly used, I'd better, you'd better. For example, you'd better ask a doctor about it. Read the dialogues, then read the sentences and write T for true or F for false. The first dialogue between Martin and Keith. Write silently. The second dialogue is between Tom and Mr. Green. Now we are going to put T for true and F for false. Number one, shot and had better are followed by two plus B's form. T or F? Yes, F. Number two, we use shot and had better to give advice. Yes, it's right. So we put T. Number three, should and had better refer to the past. It's false, so we bought if. Number four, the negative form of should and had better is formed by adding not. It's right, so we bought 
T. Five, we should and had better to give our opinion. It's right, so we bought T. Had better can sometimes imply a warning. It's true, so we bought T. Now, we are going to rewrite the sentences using the words given. Number one, you must go now because you are going to be late. Use had better. Yes, the right answer is you had better go now because you are going to be late. Number two, it's not a good idea to leave your mobile in the car. Use should. The right answer is you should not or shouldn't leave your mobile in the car. Number three, never borrow my car without asking. Use had better. Yes, good. You had better not borrow my car without asking. Number four, don't be late because Abdul Rahman will leave without you. Use had better. Yes, you had better not be late. Otherwise, Abdul Rahman will live will leave without you. Number five, it's good idea to talk your parents. Use should. Yes, you should talk your parents. We finish our lesson. Goodbye and.